I, you know what? You know what? I wish I could go back in time and tell you to start prepping back then. All right, guys, welcome back to Survival Living Here. All right, guys, so first, if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Give me that thumbs up and definitely check that bell icon. For those that's been here a while, y'all are emailing me saying, hey, man, I can't find your videos anymore. Your bell icon has probably been removed. It's been happening a lot. Now, guys, what I want to discuss is getting food put back. First thing I want to say, if you are one of our paid members, you know, the membership channel thing that we got, uh, we're canceling that. I appreciate the support we've gotten from people and I've canceled this in the past as well when I want people to start prepping up food you need to be focusing on your families okay I appreciate all the support I've gotten from you guys but right now you need to be focusing on your family take that money put towards food whatever okay when it comes to taking care of your family no one else is it's gonna be you so we're going to be doing a post pretty recent uh, here after this video anyway, uh, telling people we're canceling it out. So when you realize there's no more members only, that's why. All right, guys. So I want you to focus on your family. Too much stuff going on across the country. Too much stuff going on across other countries. Way too many other countries are fighting amongst themselves and also starting their own conflicts. It's just adding up. There's a reason why they call it World War. Because everybody's involved. What I want people to do is take a look at World War II here in America. Oh, dude, we weren't under attack. Well, Pearl Harbor was one. But what I want you to focus on, the rationing. The conflict was over there. The rationing, things that people could not get hold of, was here. Now, granted, back then, most of our industry was still here in this country. How about now? Most of our production, most of the things you buy, isn't even made here. It's shipped here. So a major global conflict, and you don't think there's going to be shortages? Think tenfold shortages. It's going to be worse. It's going to be worse than what it was during World War II. Now, there's plenty of things you can go look online. You can see the old advertisement propaganda stuff that the U.S. military, the U.S. government, not military, government came out with talking about your ration cars, fuel, food, clothes, all this stuff was rationed. Rubber, all, all this stuff was rationed, went to the war effort. What do you think is going to happen with another major conflict? Yeah. They even went so hard against purchasing against on the black market. Black market. You know what their black market was? You, me, trading, bartering, selling without the government having their say-so and stuff. Our government does not want strong people. Does not want people that can stand on their own. They want people standing in line, give me, give me, yes, sir. You can take more rights from me. That's what they want. They don't care about you. They don't care about me. At all. You need to be focusing on getting your family ready. I don't care what you have to do. You run out of space to prep, find new ways. Find new places to put food. All right? This isn't going to be something that happens and it's only going to be a couple months. This is going to be years. Anyway. Guys, just, just keep on prepping. I'm going to say step it up. I'm not going to sit there and say, you know, when I started, I say even $5 a week would get you this. You need to be putting more and more back. Put in rotational stock. One of the biggest things I always saw from people, um, I went and bought a whole bunch of food during the pandemic, and now it all went bad. Rotational stock. It never goes bad because you're always using it. Prep what you eat. Don't prep stuff if you're not going to eat it. I can guarantee you, if you're hungry enough, you'll eat it. We don't know when things are going to happen. Anybody that gives you a date, they're shooting in the breeze. We don't know what happens behind those closed doors. 
You think they're going to tell a YouTuber? <laughs> yeah, really? We can look at news. Stuff going around the world. We can look at that. And we can make decisions off of that. Doesn't mean we have dates down pat. I don't know when things are going to pop up. I can look and see what's going on. I can look and see what's going on for the last three years. That's, you know what? You know what? I wish I could go back in time and tell you to start prepping back then. Anyway, guys, got a lot of work to do around here. Um, I was working on something, right? I'll speak to y'all later. Please take this stuff seriously. Get food, get water filtration, get medical, hygiene. Get your basic needs took care of first. Things that need to keep you alive. And then you grow from there. Right now, I'm telling you, though, you need to be getting food put back, and a lot of it.